Okay, well, I guess it's time to see what it's all about. Also, I want to know. All the world holds dear is but a button. Yeah, also, I want to know what this uh, thing above is. I guess we'll see. Okay. Well, this is the Nazi San Crisodo. Hmm. There are no longer any ceremonial items here. Nor has there been a dispelling ritual conducted for a long time. Unless... Yes. A familiar setting is turned my memory. This is the right place. Maybe there might be clues for that we've overlooked. But that you, that you could spot off the bat. So, have you found anything? All I see are memories of the past and things that were that shall never again catch up to me. Does that count? Well, Paimon doesn't want to interrupt you or menacing, but that doesn't sound like that what we're looking for. Perhaps, but my past is inextricably intertwined with the Nazi San Crisodo, chief culprit of the Great Sin. As such, some of my memories may yet be helpful to you. Then, could you start telling us about them, Caterpillar? I should warn you that I was not in the inner circle several hundred years ago, so I don't know everything about the incident. But I was personally mentored by Nazi Sentries, who should be the origin of all this. Nazi Sentries, isn't that... There's a prophet lying dormant in all of us, and when he wakes, one more evil shall walk the world. That's the sort of person he is. Well, since we've got this opportunity, is there anything else you want to ask him? Um, tell me about yourself, Caterpillar. About me? I thought we got acquainted well enough during our jailbreak. But I understand that you're asking about something deeper. Now I shall perform a terrible feat that never been done before. It has never been done before and will never be done again. I will expose someone's true self before all, without any facade or masks, and that someone shall be myself. Wow, that's really a lot. I doesn't think she can lighten this atmosphere up at all. Noir has already gone home, did she not? You have to face a more complicated world now. The time for things from under the age of nine is over. Next, we'll probably need the experiences of from age 16 or so. Huh? What? Uh, the experience from 16 or so? The first voice I heard while in this body was that of Nazi Sentra's. Other than speaking of the redeeming powers of the Holy Blade of Nazi Centros, he also preached thus. The body is just a shell. Even the body of a hill can bear sentient consciousness. Did he create you then? Perhaps he did. I've tried to unravel my own origin, but the answers I got were all pretty vague. Poor you. I don't really feel that way. I have discovered after all that most humans do not know the reason why they were born, and yet they still live happily. Also, it is not quite correct to say that he created me. How so? Creation is a feat for God, if we may call the one above a God. In the tenets of Nazi Centrus, do you know what is most critical in creating someone? What is it? It's imagination. Imagining a person down to the last detail, akin to an oceanid, imagining a creature, a creature in the wild. There's a story that tells of a powerful mage priest imagining his own son, only to realize he himself 
was the product of someone else's imagination. Sorry for digressing, but I feel that this information is relevant to your questions. Well, I didn't make anything clear, but... Do you have any other questions? About the Nazi-Centrist Odo, which is apparently the thing that is most interesting to me. Since you found to find this place so familiar, why do you tell us about it? Actually, as I recall, most of the people in the Nazi Centrist Odo were very kind. Nazi Centrist teachings just contain many radical ideas that were perhaps difficult for people to accept. That doesn't sound good at all. Yeah, tell me about it. Nazi centrists would lead ceremonies with the Holy Blade in accordance with the ancient dictates. They call it Tri-Factor Excision in the way. They call it Tri-Factor Excision in Liyue and Smeru shattering Atmagraha and he called it Renunciation of the Ego. Okay. He believed that one's own will is an obstacle and that accidentally receiving a vision while seeking the path is a guaranteed path to destruction. So, after someone gives themselves up, what happens to them? Well, they stay quite normal actually. It is said that people do not perceive the truth because a body with a self sees the world filtered through the five senses. It's been quite normal actually. It is said that people do not perceive the truth because a body with a self sees the world filtered through the five senses. Right. That doesn't sound so, so scary then. However, I never found out for what Nazi Centra's ultimate purpose for collecting all the, those wills and cells was. Alright. Uh, can you elaborate concerning Nazi Centra's? Another time, perhaps. There is so much to be said. I need time to process it all. Do you have any other questions? About what happened all those years ago? Many years ago, the one then called Lord Artificer, uh, Diotin, and Nazi Centrus had an intense clash. So, the Lord Artificer Alain Diotin, which is, uh, who is, sorry, uh, the creator of the um, Fontaine Research Institute. Diotin was even called the White Cavalier of Protection back then. Uh, is that a better title than Honorary Knight? Well, if we are comparing impressive titles, I submit Chrysalis of the Phantasmic... Th Chrysalis of the Phantasmic Moth. Well, <laughs> just what kind of weird title is that? <clears throat> Paimon? Paimon. You are called... Sky Cleaver Lavender Melon or Emergency Food at times. So, yeah. The title that the Ordo gave me. See, I'm Caterpillar, a creature that turns into a chrysalis before completely metamorphosing into a butterfly. Yeah, so. Alice in Wonderland. Reference here. So, sorry. I suppose the name contained the wings of hope that I would mature into a human. Even though we learned a lot, there are still more questions that will need answers. I'll have to pour over the wretches and try to piece it all together. So, I'm afraid you won't always find me here. Fontaine can be dangerous for you as it is now. I'll disguise myself and rely on the methods I've developed to do what I must. I'll survive. 
Anne and Samor return to Nazi San Trisodo. Negative. Danger. Danger. Activity by Nazi Centris Order Remnants detected. Mole, Paimon, and Anne, please find a safe place immediately. Annihilation mode activated. I don't know you could do that. Whoa, Seymour, calm down. This is. We meet again. What did the White Chevalier of Protection say about you? Ah, yes. This is my little invention. Affirmative. I am. Goblin mechanical noises. Prototype. With a large number of bold design elements. The priority level of this topic has been downgraded. Please lay down your arms and surrender. Say more? Listen to me. I've already surrendered to Lamol. Is that so? Yes, totally. Very well. In that case, we can continue to discuss my extraordinary design. I am Caterpillar, as you know. Uh, speaking of which, how's the young lady you were protecting doing? Wait a moment. What? Why did I say something like that? What's wrong? You are correct. I am looking for the master I should protect. I am looking for... Wait, you are correct. I am looking for the master I should protect. Ma... Ma... Mary Ann. Or as you might call her... Ma... Ma... <clears throat> Mary Ann Kyota. So... Is she... Is she the wife or is she the daughter of Alan Giotta? Mary Ann Giotta? Mechanical noises. The mechanical noises slowly become clearer. Giotta. Correct. My designer. Giotta. Caterpillar. Is this... Your memories from hundreds of years ago, you know, getting clearer? Now, this is a memory from before my birth. Something akin to an elephant recalling to its, its previous life while meditating. I do not understand. Previous lives do not exist. Not for you, at least. Thanks to you, it seems that I've encountered a potential breakthrough I had never imagined possible. Perhaps I might find the secrets to my own birth after all. Though I do not understand, I am glad to have been of service. Anyway, uh, hello, Caterpillar. Have we met? My memory is fading, so that is quite possible. If I may be so blunt, what is your relationship with the Red Empress? Red Empress? Yeah, the Red Empress? I have no idea who that is, though the name kind of rings a bell. Then... Then let me try another name. What is your relationship with Lyris? Yeah, we heard of that name before, that's for sure. How do you know that name? I went through many adventures with Paimon and the Mole, just to find out that she was merely a character in a story. Do I? Hmm. Ah, I think I know what's going on. I'm also a victim of riddles, so I shan't play dumb. I'll tell you everything I know. Lyris did indeed exist. She was an Ocinid as well, in Nazi Sentra's name for her. Within the order was the Red Empress. What's going on here? My mother feels like it's so connected. True. Still, when we first got here, Paimon couldn't help but notice. Thank you. I was wondering about this is about this hand, about the clock here this whole time. 
and now I'm going to finally get the answer as to why the hand is slowly turning. I think it's related to the fact that we are slowly uncovering all the mystery secrets and stories about the Nazi Saint Risotto. So, when we first got here, Paimon couldn't help but notice. But lot here doesn't seem very accurate, does it? Ah, uh, that. Uh, simply put, <laughs> simply put, it's the it's the doomsday clock. Doomsday clock. When the clock strikes midnight, the apocalypse will come. When the clock strikes midnight, the apocalypse will come. Huh? Doesn't this mean that the end of the world is almost, is almost upon us? Huh? Uh, huh. That really does take me back. When I was here before, they thought the apocalypse was still far away, and that, though it wouldn't happen in our generation, we should stop it for the sake of the future. If the clock is accurate, it is not far off now. Perhaps we shall lay ourselves down to sleep tonight. And the, soul, and the sun shall not rise in the morn, as the sea shall evaporate tomorrow. Or perhaps we are already living in the apocalypse, and the good times have long ended. Hey, get serious. Will the apocalypse fully come? First, what we see is just a clutch, not the apocalypse itself. When it comes down to it, time is merely a tool humans used to measure changes in all forms of matter. Nazi Centrus was the one who used the world formula Wait wait, let me let me read that again. Nazi Centrus was the one who used the world formula to calculate the beginning of the of the end and build this device. As such, I cannot answer your question, dear Paimon, because this is all it is. A clock. That's true. Anyway, let's share our findings. You and Paimon briefly share all that happened with the other three people. Though, technically speaking, none of them are humans. Doesn't really matter. Input locked. Linus? Did you think of something? I don't know. I'm not sure. It's like water boiling off into gas. I can't see it, and I can't quite grasp it either. Oh, uh, any thoughts or leads, Caterpillar? Hmm. I can't say that I don't, but I'm still trying to sort some things out. So let's discuss this later. Right, I kept forgetting to ask you something. Limo, Paimon? I am very grateful for everything you've done for Lenoir. So, is there anything I can help you with? Huh? Do you mean anything? Just like making a wish? <laughs> it should be something within the scope of my abilities, of course. You did free Lenoir and I from prison, but I'm no gin in the bottle. Yeah, we already have that. Although, uh, we could not make any wish with it. So, uh, what would you wish your wish be, Paimon? Hmm, if that's the case, then Mora. No, wait! Yummy food! <sighs> ah, there's so much that Paimon wants, but. We've been having lots of fun traveling together, so. We don't really need anything special. Instead, Caterpillar, can you help us help Anne and some more? Paimon. Mo, what do you think? Is that a good wish? It's all good. I understand. Then let us work together. Yay! Understood. Now I plan to work with Samor and Anne to see if we can use our experiences and the information available here to figure something new out. Mo, Paimon, let's meet back here later. Riddles and waiting answers complete and initial facts as well. Two birds and one stone. 
I had some more fun with information on it. There's something only they can do for themselves. Wherever in this world I go. So, some more and Anne are. No, some more is here. And Anne is over there. So, let's see with the quests if there is something more. Maybe if I talk to every one of them. Night Limo. Um, about the current situation. I believe I recall certain. Some very vague feelings. I'm not sure they can even be called memories. Though, I don't know whether humans can keep their memories in their heads or in their heart. But Ocinets seem to have neither brain nor heart. Just water. If only I could be like that silly dog, just to sit there and mumble stuff I drive, defragmenting to recall everything. Yeah, but I'm not, I'm not done talking to you. I want to know more about you, Anne. Um, I don't know what else I can tell you. I'm the part of Mary Anne that was imagined into being here. But, but she rejected me. The others as well, I mean, other existences. The Princess Lyris I want to rescue does not exist. Mary Anne is also not Mary Anne. And isn't that silly dog's owner? I don't know why, but when I see that silly dog, something just swells inside of me. It feels like bubbles, but they burst whenever I get close to remembering. The other pill seems to know something, but he won't say much if he's not 100% sure. We came to the place with Nazi Centros in its name, yet nothing was resolved. Uh, I want to know more about uh, Princess Lyris. Princess Lyris is kind and courageous, that's why she endangered herself in order to protect her friends. Before, all I thought was that I must have been a friend of hers and she protected me. So now that she's in trouble, I have to save her. Even though she might not want me to do that, because she's too nice and would rather suffer than let her friends be in danger. But if I don't save her, how could I be worthy of being her friend? or deserve her protection. Memories. They're hazy, like whirlpools in water. Emotions and desires, on the other hand, feel so real, despite me realizing she's just a character in a story now. And is there anything else? As I'm trampling on books for no reason? Um, it's alright. Just go to bed. Okay, good night. Good night, night mole. <laughs> All right. Some more. Tell me. Calculation process halted. What are your instructions, Mr. Lomo? Um, about the current situation? Through communication with Anne, the Ocinid, and the former North Central Zodo member, Cal Pillar, some promising information has been obtained. I am prototype 4ACV07. Designed by Giotan to accompany and protect my master, Mrs. Marianne. Unfortunately, no additional information on Miss Marianne is currently available. Moreover, Mother Anne, the Ocinid, was able to provide very little, info little information. The remaining member of the North Central Zodo Caterpillar did not provide complete information. More time is required for analysis. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Um, I want to know more about you, Samar. I am prototype 4ACV07. Yeah, we already know that. Uh, designed by Geotown to accompany and protect my master, Miss Marianne. I am equipped with the most advanced memory storage unit, logic unit, optics, and various functional modules from the Fontaine Institute of Natural Philosophy. This allows me to keep a lot of Miss Marianne's daily life and also act as an agent's assistant. My present top priority is to locate Miss Marianne and ensure her safety. Okay. And the last dialogue option? I want to know more about Marianne. The purpose of my design and creation is to serve and protect my owner, Miss Marianne. 
My present top priority is to locate Miss Marianne and ensure her safety. Anne D. Oceanid exhibited certain behaviors identical to the past behaviors of Miss Marianne. But the fact is, compromising them, loud mechanical noises, loud mechanical noises. No. Regular wretched space collation can decrease the frequency of such issues effectively. Alright. And last. Oh, nothing, bye. Affirmative. Have a nice day, Mr. Lemol. Slowly turning. Hey, caterpillar. Oh, sorry. Uh, maybe I should. Yeah. All right. And I want. I want wisdom. <clears throat> anything? Any, anything? Ooh, sorry. Anything else you want to talk about? About the current situation. It's nice that this place is so lively again after several centuries. <laughs> Just joking. I think there's a purpose to all this. I mean, to us gathering like this, it's boring and foolish to treat it as simple, sheer coincidence. Our encounter has to be an omen for the kind of beginning, akin to a repressed seed struggling before fully germinating. And on the other hand, before the actual apocalypse arrives, just who would try to find meaning in absurdity and be convinced that those signs herald that inevitably solemn moment. Other than the, than Nos Centrus, whom I used to call Master, regardless, he deserved to be called a Grand Master. Despite our paths crossed here under the Doomsday Plot, if we follow along the woven path together, maybe we can. Hmm. I should have sa I should save the rest of that thought for the end of the journey. Uh, I want to know more about you, Caterpillar. What else is there to say about myself? I often feel mutually exclusive elements in the nature of my existence. Individually, they are pure but also alien to each other. Therefore, when they interact, they mix with the other and become pure. Can you understand that? My own identity is not consistent. Sometimes I am a bloom guard, other times a dragon. My identity is a lie built out of the stories of others. But I believe a definitive answer exists. A singular correct answer. As the hands of, on the clock move again, I'm ready to take that step. Uh, what else? I want to know more about Lenoir. Our time together was very short, but I never thought I'd be so committed to playing the role of a protector for her. It was indeed a very novel experience. Perhaps I was attracted by her purity, because that's a quality I will never possess. Yet, the fortress of Maripid is what kept her innocent, somewhere she shouldn't have been in the first place. It gave her an opportunity to choose. The right to choose must be first stripped from her. But whenever I think of how now the mundane world has finally entered her heart. Hmm. Uh, we'll talk about this later. I'll stay here until it's time for us to set out. Okay. Well, uh, I think there'll be um, a follow-up, a follow-up to that story um, sooner than later. To be honest. Because I'm sure that there's something related to that clock here at the top. I think when it strikes midnight. Wait. When it strikes midnight. What if. What if. Um, I change the time of day and I wait until midnight. Wait, wait. What if I wait until midnight? Um. Uh, 
Ready? What if I go back through the butch and then go back to the Institute of Natural Philosophy and also San Crisodo and we'll see what happens. Okay. Maybe maybe I have to wait. Maybe it's not the time to the wind knows me. To deal with this at the moment, but quite intrigued to see what will happen when this clock moves again. <laughs> 